in our country's history and in our best moments, we have protected the ability of different groups to pursue different ways of life. We would not have had suffrage, we would not have had abolition, we would not have had civil rights without the groups that preceded those efforts, the groups of people who met in private spaces and sometimes for purely social means to craft agendas, to form friendships, and to pursue solidarity. Confident pluralism is a response to the recognition that we live in a deeply divisive and diverse society where our differences are not going to be overcome. So it's a challenge and a question of how we can live together peaceably despite those differences. The confidence part of confident pluralism allows us to enter into different and sometimes even hostile spaces confident in the beliefs that we do have. And so we can go into spaces and groups and people who don't always agree with us. We can be challenged about our own ideas and our own premises with the assumption that either our arguments will become stronger or we'll find other ways to realize the confidence of our beliefs, or perhaps those beliefs will change. But we go into discussions with the confidence that we are pursuing the right paths of our beliefs. We can and must live in society despite deep differences between us. And we can do so in two important ways. The first is with the law, to protect the spaces to disagree and the private groups that we form and join. And it also needs to protect the spaces for us to come together and hash out our differences. And the second way is through civic practices, by taking seriously how we speak to one another, how we treat one another, and especially how we treat those with whom we don't agree. If more people engage with confidence, more people will learn the limits of their own arguments and the limits of other people's arguments. And sometimes we realize that public opinions change as a result of those differences. We'll find that when we push and pull against our own normative priors, we actually come to better solutions and better reasoning. The difficulty with the alternative of retreating to our own echo chambers and hearing only the arguments we already agree with is that we don't become innovative. And we become subject to our own blind spots and we don't push hard to find real solutions to real problems.